Hello everyone, I hope everybody is doing great and enjoying the summer wherever you are. Today I will come back again with a subscriber's uh, surgery. So subscriber sent me the job file, which is an input file, the UMET subroutine, which is the crystal plasticity subroutine. I have a lecture on that, which is shown on the top. If you haven't seen that, please go and have a look at that to learn about microstructure based modeling using UMAT crystal plasticity subroutines. And this is the error message. It's getting again the error messages you get highly is highly dependent on the system you are using, the version of Abacus you are using, and also the Fortran compiler which you are using. In this case, user has run the job, it links, it compiles, it pre-processing of the file is fine. This means input parameters have no syntax problems or nothing is missing according to Abacus. But after the standard is started, which is the actual run, it ends after a certain amount of time and it gives the error that please see the message file. Again, I haven't seen the message file because I was not sent that file. So I'm going to explore on my own how to rectify this error and make the job run. So let's get back to the job. So this is a job file or input file. It seems like an eight noted element, C3T8R, which is a reduced integration brick or hexahedron element. Uh, hex element, I would say, the correct way. Eight nodes, one element, material properties are material one. And this is all assembly definition. So if you look at the material properties, these are the parameters which I have explained in the video on crystal plasticity modeling or microstructure based modeling lecture. So 160 parameters, these are the elastic constants due to the cubic symmetry. It looks okay, everything seems to be in megapascals. There is nothing needed for an isotropic or orthotropic part, then, they are, then the user is using one slip system, one set of slip system or family of slip system. So it's an FCC, so it will be F111110 slip system. If you have BCC, then you can have two other families as well, as I have discussed in my other videos on BCC. Then this is orientation with respect to the global coordinate system, which looks okay to me. Otherwise you would have got an error in while you start running the job. These are the rate sensitivity exponent and the gamma naught dot value according to the theory. So this is also fine. We don't have any second or third family. So we have a zero value, which is also fine in this case. Now we have the hardening coefficients. These are also fine. These are megapascals initial hardening, saturation hardening, and initial resolved shear stress at which your slip will start in the rate independent sense. And the uh, latent hardening is used and one coefficient is used. This means latent hardening and self hardening are the same. And uh, in this case, for second family, there is nothing there. These are the coefficient for the implicit or explicit integration as the soft humor subroutine, which I have already uploaded on my website. Uh, has both formulations so you can change these parameters so again you can look at the documentation on how these parameters will influence the scheme integration scheme you're going to use and these are some of the values there number of iteration the maximum number of iterations and the error in gamma after which it will say that okay below which it will say that the convergence has occurred it can solve iteratively or non-iteratively so again you can select that in this case uh, it's one, so this means the iterative process will be used. Again, you can look into the subroutine documentation. Total number of iterative variables are 125. Again, these stores all the slips, tau knots, G alpha, strength of the slip system, etc. Then there's a static step. And as you can see, default values are used. Total time is one. Initial time increment is 0.1 and the final is 0.1. And then you go to the boundary conditions. So some edges are fixed. And, you, and the user has applied a displacement in one of the direction, which is three direction. And then ask for the outputs, including the SDVs, which are the solution dependent state variables, which are stored in these depth pair variables. Okay, and so I think this file looks fine to me. I don't see any big issue here. And I have also checked the subroutine and it looks fine to me as well. Nothing has been changed. Okay, so let's run the job and see what happens. So you can see I'm using the latest version of Visual Studio, which is 17.4.3. And also 
Abacus is also the latest version which we which we have at the moment in my computer which is 2022 so it seems the compilation and linking is fine so I don't see any issue there pre-processing now it's going to check all the input parameters which are in the input file and if there is anything missing or any anomaly in your input data then it should report that in that .dat file so you see .dat file is created but since there is no problem so we don't want to spend time on that right now if it stops at this point then we should go and check the DAT file and it has gone to the standard running analysis and you can see it's running fine so it has printed the 12 slip system for FCC and again if you don't want to get this thing printed after every increment you can go to the subroutine search for the slip plane and slip direction where it's writing or printing and you can just comment it out so you can see it's working fine and if I can see there is a STA file as well so I will just open it and you can see it started with 0.1 time increment which was the initial time increment and you see okay so this is the problem here you see it gives an error of singular matrix so what is happening is in this subroutine if you search for this so there is a point where it says it pauses your analysis when it comes across a singular value or a singular matrix sing zero value in the diagonal of the Jacobian so if the Jacobian becomes any value in the Jacobian diagonal becomes zero this means it becomes singular matrix and that's the error it's giving you here and it pauses the analysis if you keep on pressing it it will still run but you don't know why this is happening generally this issue is basically from the fact that you have a very large deformation so your time increment is very large and the slip algorithm which is at, again iterative solution solver is being used in that case it's not able to converge and give you the proper value so the best solution is I normally kill the job and by pressing control C for a few times or on Windows system here so I will kill the job and I will go back and see what I can do to sort this issue so the first thing which is first and the best thing I would always suggest to do is go back and check in the input file what time increments you have used so maybe these time increments are too large for it so I to be on the safe side let's start give it an initial time increment of 0 0.001 and the maximum to be 0 0.001 this will make your simulations to go very slow uh, because, uh, because your time increment is smaller so it has to really capture all those go through all these time increments but this way you will see this error goes away so now what I'm going to do I'm going to save it first and I'm going to go here again and I will run the job again as it is and you remember in the previous case it was just finished after 0.1 second so let's see how long it can go off in this case so compilation is fine we only change remember we only change the time max minimum initial and maximum time increments so now the this time increment should be 0 0.0001 as that this is what we have prescribed and it will start to increase and reach to 0.001 so this gives the whole subroutine and the solver some time to really converge and move slowly towards a better solution this is one of the issues with this subroutine and unfortunately this is the only way to go the other way around is basically you can convert it to a VU mat and in that case you don't need a Jacobian so you can just comment it out this pause statement and should be fine in my opinion so now it's, you see it's working fine if i refresh it so to close this okay still not there um, well. Okay, so now I will open it again and you see now it started with 0 0.001 and now it will start to increase after a certain amount of time so now it's going to take some time because it has to go through up to 0 0.001 so it has to run almost thousand increment also one more thing you have to do is if you are using this value this means you will have 
or this value this means you will have 10,000 increments right so if you use a default thousand increments which is generally the case then it's going to stop at this point and will end the job at that point maybe use a very large value as I normally recommend in my other tutorials as well so that you at least your simulation is not killed when you reach to the maximum number of increments which you allow in the step definition so again look back here and you see it's going on and now it's going to increase up to up to the value which we have specified so right now it's 0 0.005 and it will go up to 0 0.001 and if they, it, it struggles to converge again then it will again start to reduce as it works in the standard analysis or static analysis so i will stop at this point and i will come back with once this job is finished okay so welcome back guys now you can see the job is finished and as you i move down you can see it says it went to up to a total time of one second and analysis was completed successfully so without any issues and you can see it started with 0.001 which was the initial value and the maximum we gave was around 0.002 so it reaches to that uh, in between I, in, it was taking a too long time for 0.001 so i increased it slightly and still it was converging because i wanted to reduce the computational time so you see 0.002 was a maximum so it takes on that and i think it doesn't struggle with that so it keeps on taking that so you can also further increase this one as well to reduce the computational time so you see it was sorted and if you go and look at the the job file here so you can see the job is finished and you can see it gives you some nice results if you want to see the plots of sdvs and these are the resolved shear stresses and after 12 i think 13 14 are the slip systems so so you see some slip systems are activated some are not so i think so you can again see what is there so sdv 13 is not activated but 14 is not activated so again 14 13 14 you can work it out with the slip systems which you have printed out in your in this thing here which is first second third so 13 14 15 16 17. so i hope this made sense and you learned something from it and this is one of the ways problem you come across with this subroutine so i hope you will be able to sort that out now so if you have any further questions and please comment below and don't forget to like the videos and support the channel thank you and bye for now